Summer is golden. Hi guys, Jessica Norman. This is Summer is Golden. Norman, just here to share a little bit with you. Uh, this is about the most I've said or done publicly in about two decades. You know, kind of been stuck in depression for a long time. And just recently had a visit from my son. Uh, he came down and spent some time with me before undertaking one of his new ventures. Uh, but yeah. He was here recently and inspired me to document something that I'm doing. Uh, usually I just uh, keep everything inside, uh, but I'm gonna let it all out. <laughs> uh, this is our new 1996 Ford F-350 cargo van, the extended version. And we're gonna make it into a home on wheels. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm a lifelong quester of off-grid living, and it's just strange because my son is doing a van life tour around the country now, and he's never talked to me about it, and I've been a grid life for my entire life in my mind, so we're, we're uh, approaching some of the same ideas in, in this stage of our lives. I, I just think it's really awesome. Uh, but we're gonna take you inside and do a little um, renovate. Uh, first, we'll um, go in and we'll, we're not gonna gut it because fortunately, it, it has a, a nice roofing piece in it. And because of the, the bed structures that I have in there now, I'm not gonna do the full conversion. Plus, it'll give me time to leave parts of the floor uncovered <clears throat> so that I can go back and rerun wires at a later date. So that's what we're gonna do. But um, most of you who know me, uh, I'm a carpenter by trade. Uh, been working in the hotel business for a lot of my life as well. I have a current bid with the uh, uh, Motel Six uh, for, uh, comp, uh, Hotel here in Augusta. And um, yeah, uh, but anyway, we're here to convert the uh, Ford F three fifty. From a cargo van to a full on beautiful tiny home. So come on and go with us. Let's have a fun. And remember, summer is gold. Okay, we're back. Jessica Norman here. And of course, summer is still golden. Well, we got the doors open the other day. It seems like the, the rig has sat in a in a sunlit area for quite some time. And everything inside is dry rotting. So maybe one side, I think the driver's side is okay. And this side is uh, being affected also. I'm having a problem getting out of the van. So we know we've got a cable issue there. Anyway, these grommets that are inside with the cable, apparently they disintegrate. I was watching them fall uh, down from the um, from, from the upper part of the door there as I was moving things around. So it appears that we're gonna have to come up with a, a drastic method to get inside this door. 
Now, of course, my first thought, if you look up in there and you can see the mechanism, you can see the mechanism, I believe you can. And, but I can't get my hand up in there to really do anything. So, you know, the idea was to just cut a hole in the steel. It's pretty average size, maybe a less than a, less than a 16th thick or something about that. So we know we can use the sawzall on it, but you know, it'd be nice to have a torch. But there seems to be some peep holes in there. Where's my screwdriver? Okay. As you can see, we've done nothing but throw things up in here and set the sofa in to keep it away from the rain. Not enough space in the garage really to keep it there. So, as you can see, there's a peep hole right there. You know it's tiny, but it's right in front of the, uh, the actual lock. So you can't, you can't deal with it and hold the phone. So you'll know in a few moments when it's actually <laughs> been open. So hang in there guys. Summer is still going. Okay, we're back. Apparently it was locked. Uh, I had pulled up on it a few other times and it wouldn't go any further, so I assumed it was unlocked, but I believe it was just jammed. And maybe when I released the pressure from this side was when it released. And it went back to the weep the peep hole and was able to hit the latch. I'm still debating on cutting this because if I'm gonna put this back together um, with the cables, working and everything i'm gonna need to get in there obviously they have some special tool that they use or whatever to, to repair this but um i have no clue what that would be so it's it would be a lot easier for me to just cut it out and i'm thinking about it because i know i'm going to create a certain level of damage that it's not going to be able to be really undone without welding it back or buying a new door but if I'm gonna put these cables back I need to get in there so I'm gonna fish around the outside a bit just to see whether or not I can uh, whether or not I can uh, actually do it without cutting that hole I think it's possible we'll see and summer is definitely golden Okay guys, Jessica here, we're back. Uh, we just did the same thing with the uh, F-150 that we did with the F-350 to get the doors open. Uh, so we don't have to drag the table saw through the front. I mean, that's a mess. You don't even want to look in there. Probably 30 years worth of tools. <laughs> but, um, you know, since we came out in 2021, we just hadn't been messing with these tools much. But uh, that's kind of part of the whole process of depression. Anyway, we won't get into any of that. We're gonna get this saw out of here. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting some framework. And as you see, the uh, clouds are starting to move in a little bit there. And um, I'm sure we got about two hours worth of cut time. So.
I guess. Well, it looks like I got to speaking too soon and all that kind of stuff, so. It started raining on us just when I finished there. So we haven't done anything, but we're gonna try and um, set the back wall for the uh, laboratory sink. And then we're gonna set the bottom shelf. Because there's, there's still a great deal of leg room that's gonna run along this side of this wall over here. I don't wanna lose it because if I bring the cabinets all the way out to, to this base rod that I'm using, I can change the name of it four times already. You guys know what I'm talking about. The floor rod that I just put in up under the uh, permanent metal brackets. That's gonna keep everything in place. Oh, so anyway. Uh, we did that, and it started raining, so I just decided that I wasn't gonna put much more work into it. So, in other words, it's Miller time.